Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Greg Alba here. John! So after a weekend full of Infinity War talk, we are here today to talk about Ant-Man and the Wasp. Where were they? But before we hop into this trailer reaction, people, wanted to give a shout out to today's awesome video sponsor, and that is Amino Apps, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, you guys may remember us shouting out the Marvel Amino back when we shot the Spider-Man Homecoming review, and we're excited to be working with these guys again. For those of you who aren't familiar, Amino is a mobile network of communities for both fans and creators alike that spans pretty much any conceivable interest you can think of. Yeah, whether you're a Marvel fan or a Harry Potter fan, if you love Westworld, Riverdale, Rick and Morty, whatever it is, there's a community of like-minded, passionate people waiting to welcome you on Amino. Obviously, we wind up doing a lot of Marvel-related content here on the channel, and the Marvel Amino is an excellent place for fans and creators to gather, post their reviews and theories, participate in polls, share fan art, and a whole lot more. You can browse curated feeds, check in with your communities in real time, and even take advantage of the app's text, voice, and avatar chat features to bring you even closer with the people you meet on the app. And if you're a fan of our videos, it's a great place to keep track of our various Marvel-related content, which we'll be posting over there with each new Marvel-related video. In short, guys, with Amino, it's easier than ever to keep up with people all over the world who share your love and passion for your favorite fandoms and to contribute to the conversation. You'll find a link in the description box to download the app and make sure to follow us at Real Rejects, all one word, and make sure to check out our posts that we made over there before. Yeah, yeah, we've got some polls going, we've got a bunch of our videos posted, it's a lot of fun. And also, huge thanks to the folks over at Amino. And uh, without further ado, guys, let's check out that trailer. Ant Man and the Wasp. So, how long have you been Ant Man again? <laughs> Not long. It just sort of happened. Oh, we're trying to fight bad guys like you. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Almost every time. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you just need someone watching your back. Hi. Oh. Sick. Nice. Sick. Sick. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Dr. Pin, I actually heard what happened to you. You opened up the quantum realm. That's when this crazy could be gold who like walks through walls and stuff. Stole your tech. <laughs> no exposition. Now she wants to take over the world or whatever. <laughs> Who would have believed that in your hour of need, you would turn to us? Not me. Because we robbed you. Do you remember? That's us. <laughs> the only chance you got. This is both the deal. And man and the wasp teaming up. Follow my lead. Sexy. <laughs> Sexy. <laughs> oh. She oh, seems. More intense. What? <laughs> you go low. Back in the corner room. Okay. Wings. Why would I go low? Oh, damn. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. Do you remember your building is left? That Man, is a build. What I miss? We were just tiny. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I was partners with Hank on a project called Goliath. How Black Goliath. Feet? My record: twenty-one feet. You? Sixty-five feet. There you 65. go. Sixty-five. <laughs> <laughs> hey, another boat. If you two are finished comparing sizes. Sixty-five. <laughs> Harry White, the MCU. Dr. Bill Foster, my friend, <laughs> biochemist. Yeah. And he's, uh, yeah, he had his own comic book uh, for a little bit. I mean, he's called Goliath here. I remember seeing the title of it, Black Goliath. Ooh. I wonder if he's going to show up at all as Goliath in this movie. Maybe, I mean, maybe it's like a little, little moment, like an Easter egg of yeah. some kind. Hopefully we get a little moment where he actually does do it. Yeah. He's created an yeah, IMDb yeah. as Goliath. Oh, well and, then there you go. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, like IMDb gives away yeah, a lot of these a little too much. A little too much. All that stuff with the wasp, I think, looks really awesome. Yeah, she looks badass. She looks really badass. I feel like there's going to be a clash of who to follow yeah, <laughs> and, their, yeah, yeah. and their dynamics and their partnership. I feel like a lot of these movies involve them learning how to work together. Yeah. Because everybody wants to be the leader. Oh, yeah. it's, it's definitely going to have that. I mean, he yeah. was Ant-Man and then she's coming in later on and she's probably going to 
be a little bit more of a leader in this area. I hey, imagine she, like, she's the daughter. Of, <laughs> yeah, she's the daughter of Hank Pym. I know this is going to lead into Avengers 4 in some fashion because Ant-Man and Wasp are in Avengers 4. But I, I think in the comics, Hope Van Dyne becomes like a villain named Red Queen, if I'm remembering that correctly. Ooh. And uh, But Michelle Pfeiffer is supposed to be in here as Jenna Van Dyne, okay. which is uh, okay. she was lost in the quantum realm, as we know in the first yeah, Ant-Man. Right. And they said they opened up the quantum realm, and that's how the character Ghost came through. Ghost yeah. looks freaking cool. Ghost looks really cool. In the comics, Ghost is actually a dude, so they're doing a gender Gender swap bender. Over. Yeah, that's right. Modern times. or something. Updated yeah. for today. Gender doesn't matter. <laughs> like all that phasing stuff that she was doing the whole time. I mean, I wish we got a little bit more in her. They had us one shot where she was like, oh, like she doesn't understand what her powers are yeah, in some way. Yeah, so yeah. I'm imagining she's not just full-blown evil just because that one shot was like, huh? But she also uh, it seems like she probably is the main antagonist in this story or whoever Walton Goggins is playing because Walton Goggins is usually a bad dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It seems like these days. It's going to be fun to have the crew back too. I mean, you know, they, yeah. Michael Pena especially cracked me up in the first movie and I was glad yeah. to see like a good amount of his stuff in this trailer. He's still doing the recapping of the expositional stuff of what's going to go down. Yeah, yeah he's, he's our English please guy. Yeah. <laughs> just for this movie especially, I love what they're doing and how much further they're going with, you know, blowing up objects around yeah. shrinking objects around it's not just ant-man and the wasp they've got like that salt shaker thing and they're like blowing yeah. up buildings and cars and they seem like they're having a lot more uh creativity with their action and their comedy mm. in this movie it just looks really exciting because you do feel the whole team ensemble here yeah. again and it seems like they're embracing more of the weirdness yeah of what ant-man is <laughs> yeah. yeah which which works out with the humorous tone that they want for these movies yeah anyway. exactly and especially after infinity war nice to yeah. embrace something that seems a lot more calm <laughs> Man, just weird and fun. It is oddly like, a relief. Oh, this is just relaxing. This is a relaxing experience we can all have with Go each other. in, have a good yeah. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to weep into my popcorn. I was hoping we get some images of Michelle Pfeiffer because she's on the poster, and I don't know if we just missed her in this trailer, but they had this one shot where Ant Man's in the quantum realm, so I imagine they pull her out of it in some way. And yeah. Then we get Janet yeah. Van Dyne in here. Maybe she'll show up like part way yeah. through the movie. It's but like, all the action looks cool. The comedy looks great. This looks like a really fun, enjoyable time. I, I'm, I'm excited that we get to get this film and I'm excited to see how this will lead into Avengers 4 in some way. Hopefully it does. Alright guys, well thanks for watching. You can subscribe to the Reject Nation. Click that notification bell to get notified every time one of our vids is up. And you can check us out on Patreon, full length TV show reactions, weekly Q&As, but more importantly follow us on Amino Apps. Link in the description box, people. Yeah, hit up that Marvel Amino!